What's up everyone? John Rittinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the latest from Apple. This is the iPhone 6S. And now just a few weeks ago, we've got it here in its latest color. This is rose gold. The other colors are available. So that's space gray, just regular gold uh, and silver. Uh, we've got a 64 gig version available in you should not buy 16 gigs, uh, 64 or 128. Pricing ranges from 649 all the way up to 849. Uh, as a little side fact, if you pay full price for the phone, your device will come unlocked. And with all the band support that these phones now have, it'll work on pretty much any carrier, uh, no matter where you go. So bear that in mind. We'll go ahead and use the, I'm probably gonna slice a finger, open obligatory unboxing knife. Uh, to take a look at this guy, I was at the event where Apple announced these, so I had a chance to play with them. But I'm excited to sort of get it in the real world and see how they perform. Uh, a lot of things are new here, aside from just the color. Let's go ahead and take the top off the box. And each different color has its own uh, color fish on it. So rose gold's got that kind of orange uh, guy. And if you're thinking about getting rose gold, bear in mind that it's a fancy name for, for pink. The phone is the phone is pink. It's a, it's a pink phone. So if you want a pink phone, then they just, just decided to call it rose gold. Uh, push off to the side for a real quick sec. So what else you're going to have inside of the box. You've got your ear pods, your just normal wall wart, and a lightning cable. Nothing else overly exciting. We've got inside of this little booklet, I'm guessing it's going to be fingertips, iPhone 6S, and uh, two Apple stickers. Push all that stuff off to the side for a quick sec, and let's take a look at the phone. A little bit heavier uh, this time around. It weighs 5.04 ounces, or 143 grams. Uh, display, same size as last gen, 4.7 inches. It's 1334 by 750, or a 326 PPI. I'll go through the rest of the specs. Let's pull this plastic off here. If I get my really enjoyable whooshy noise. It was less enjoyable than it's been in recent years. Quasi enjoyable there. Uh, and here we have uh, the rose gold phone. Let's go ahead and power it on and walk you through everything else that's here. Uh, powering this guy is a new A9 chip, 64-bit with M9 motion coprocessor. Uh, on the front, we've got a new camera here. It's a five megapixel camera, but now the whole screen serves as a flash, I'm calling it a retina flash. But really the screen just lights up. Uh, the back camera is also new. You can see my sweaty hands are already getting marked all over it. Uh, we're down 50% more pixels. It's up from 8 to 12, and now it can shoot 4K video uh, at 30 frames per second. Uh, battery's a little bit smaller here at 1,715 milliamp hour batteries, uh, hours. rather. Apple says, though, it's not going to affect battery life because the A9 processor uh, is a bit more effective uh, for using the juice. Uh, two gigs of RAM in here as well. Uh, keeping this guy hopefully scratch proof is 7000 series aluminum and Apple worked with Corning to create the glass. It's not Gorilla Glass, but they worked with Corning uh, to make it. Everything else you'd expect is here, 802.11, A, B, G, and N, um, with AC and Wi-Fi and all that kind of other stuff you'd expect, as well as, again, every other band. If you're a T-Mobile user, though, uh, you might want to consider an upgrade since it does have support for band 12 to really get through walls uh, a lot better. So bear that in mind. Let's go ahead and set it up to a quick first, quick first look. All right, so we've got this guy all set up, and on first blush, it looks just like every other iPhone 6 that was out there, except now you can kind of push the screen. It's not gonna push back, uh, but now it's got 3D touch, which is Apple's name for force touch. So you can sort of give a hard push, and you can see different options that'll show up for Apple's core apps. And presumably, uh, that will also filter down to third-party apps and games. Uh, there's the phone, it's pretty much exactly the same we've seen with the previous gen. You've got your profile switch, your volume up and down. You've got your, um, power on off button or your lock button, SIM slot. Uh, you've got a new and improved touch ID button right there. 3.5 millimeter headset jack, a rear firing speakers, lightning port and microphone. In the back there's that 12 megapixel sensor and it says S right there. Just so you know, that's the S model and the antenna bands, love them or hate them, uh, are still adorning the top and bottom. Uh, we'll have a ton more coverage of the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus coming up. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel uh, for all of that info. We'll also have gallery samples, uh, of all these phones as well. So check out technobuffalo.com. Until next time, I am John Rettinger. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.